Hello Vlogalog! Is it just me or did Kevin seem like really surprised that there was collaboration and discussion in a collab channel? He d I d oh, right, yeah, we're meant to be, uh, the dress code is, is, is upped for this week, uh, hold on. So I, uh, just put on a hat, because I think I look smart, and I don't care if you think I don't look smart, because I don't have a suit. My job basically requires me to look like a homeless person before I go in, so if you were like, let's go on a fancy dinner date, this is what I would show up wearing. Which is probably why I don't go on that many dinner dates. So sports. Sporty sports, sports, sports. Uh, for sport, I'm kind of like Kevin and kind of like Alex. I I get sport. I used to play sport. Um, for those of you who don't know me personally, which I think is all of you, nearly. I played county rugby and regional hockey for about four years apiece, maybe. There was a bit of crossover. So from the age of like 13 till about 17, I was like the sporty, sporty guy. But I smashed up my knee, my shoulder, my arm. I basically broke, I've broken a lot of bones playing various sports and doing various stupid things. So I stopped. But that, that, is, that is my experience, I suppose, before I start talking. That, that's what I do in terms of sport. But even when I played sport, I didn't watch sport. I don't get the appeal of, you wanna go watch some people who are way better at us do a pointless thing? No. No, I don't. If you were like, do you wanna go have a kickabout? I'd be like, yeah. If you're like, wanna go to the pub and watch the football? I'd be like, no. Pretty much the only thing I watch sports-wise is the rugby when it's on. And that's only so I can relive my glory days and pretend that if I'd have kept playing, I would also be on the Ireland national team. I don't think any of you are taking me seriously because I'm wearing this hat. This, this is this is a formal look. Kevin said that sports aren't collaborative. They're kind of built to be conflictual. That sentence made a lot of sense. I kind of get where he's coming from, but as somebody who played sport, I disagree. The collaboration between your team, if it's a team sport, be it football or soccer or whatever you guys call it, or American football or rugby, or if it involves a team, then it is a collaboration of conflict if that makes any kind of sense. Like, you are working together with your team to ruin the other people's day. So actually, if this collab was a sports team, our job would be to, I suppose, not sabotage each other, but like sabotage Calabar Ding Dong. You know, we'd, we'd war against them. We'd collaborate together to war against the other collab and probably lose. I think we have lost. I, I don't know what game we're playing, I'm literally making it up now. And I get a lot of people arguing that, oh, well, I watch sport because of, like, the drama and the thrill, so why don't you do that? But if you really wanted the drama and the thrill, you'd go and, you know, try and reenact Shakespeare in the middle of a motorway, not sit down on your fat ass, get drunk, and watch some men who get paid too much money kick a ball about. And I think that's another reason why I don't like sports, is that it seems to be, economically at least, and probably socially too, valued very highly, at least on the professional level, particularly in, well, particularly everywhere, I think. You guys have got, like, like the Super Bowl. What is that? That is, like, 90% advertisements while nothing else happens. Yay. I guess, in conclusion, if you really like sports, I will think less of you, but my opinion shouldn't matter. Like, I think it's important that we all have things that we value and are passionate about, and I'm sorry that I... but my mind defaults to, like, patronising asshole when you tell me that you really are into sport. I, I can't help it. But I don't think I have anything else to say on sports, really. It's not... it's not my topic. Uh... <laughs>